This is me and Mol and you're watching ARS Biologicals. And if you have watched my video on seven medicinal plants of Kalengpung and Darjeeling, uh, you I think you must have given it thumbs up and some of you have commented. And I thought of making it second part and today I've come back with again seven medicinal plants, seven different types of medicinal plants of Kalengpung and Darjeeling. So let's get started. So the first one is dandelions. So dandelions are the common name and its scientific name is Terrazacum ophelenale and they are perennial growing and flowering plants in the genus Terrazacum. The plant is native to Eurasia, North America. The flowers are yellow in color like this. You can see the flower is yellow in color and the whole plant the suit part of the plant is edible and they are vastly growing plant in the hilly regions and the parts used of this plant is the whole plant the whole plant is used for either eating or medicinal purposes it's used to treat gastrointestinal diseases like dysentery indigestion and many more. Its common name by the Nepalese people is Tukki Ful. Yes, it's known as Tukki Ful by the Nepalese people. Thysano liana. So the ne our next plant is Thysano liana. You can look at the plant. It's green in color with triangular or long uh, triangular type of leaves and it is a genus of plants in the grass family and it is native to Bangladesh, India, China, Bhutan and many more. They have sharp blade edge you can see this can deliver with you a deep cut also as the leaves look soft they are very hard and can be very very dangerous they can deliver cuts and bruises the flowers of this plant are used for cleaning tools used for making cleaning tools or brooms you must have seen in the locality or somewhere else you, uh, the natural brooms made up of some plants the plant is none other than Thysano liana so it is known as Kucho by the Nepalese people Kucho or Amliso and it is highly cultivated in the hilly regions for the marketing of the flowers to make brooms and its part used for medicinal purpose is the root the upper part is mainly used for giving the cows the, for feeding the cows and for making brooms and the lower part which is the root part is mainly used for medicinal purpose and it has respiratory medicinal treatments which includes asthma bronchitis cough and tuberculosis
So our third plant is German chamomile. So you must have seen this everywhere growing in the wild sites or the grassy areas. You must have seen this plant with white small flowers. It may be white, yellow or pink flowers. Its scientific name is Metricaria chamomilia and it is a perennial flowering plant which blooms all over the year and it falls under the daisy family and it is globally spreaded and found all over the world. It has various uses. It is used as flavoring agents in cosmetics like mouthwash, soaps or lotions. You must have seen in your some some products of face wash or soaps you must have seen chamomile you you may see the ingredients as chamomile it is a very good skin agent it is also used for brewing a special type of tea you must have drink uh, lemon tea you must uh, that normal tea and you but you haven't drink this kind of chamomile tree right but yes it also produces tea it is also used in making beers and alley Yes, it is also made for making intoxicating drinks and its uses in medicinal treatments are hay fever, inflammation on skins, muscle spams, wounds and even in menstrual disorders. And the parts used of this plant are mainly the flowers. The next plant is hogweed. So it's very very difficult to find the plant but I don't know it's necessarily growing below my house. Sorry that white colored leafed plants are English ivy. The main plant the hogweed is this this one and it is a biennial flowering plant. Yes it flowers. It is just a plant, it later, it literally blooms and it is under the carrot family and it is mostly found in cold climatic areas. It is widely used for making pickles and achars by the Nepalese people and the flowers, I was talking about the flowers right, the flowers looks like this and the fruits look like this fruits or you can call it seeds also it's very famous among the nepalese people the local called it chimping dadu chimping ko achar khano ne like this <laughs> it's very famous uh, they eat <laughs> this chimping's achar uh, with momo you must have seen that chinese food momo yes it's very famous and the parts used of this plants are mainly flowers and its leaf. So uh, it is used to treat gastrointestinal diseases like influenza and typhoid. So let's move on to the another plant. So the next plant is Angel's Trumpet. <laughs> you, you caught me blowing that trumpet, right? So it is actually Angel's Trumpet. It's a trumpet-like flower. So its scientific name is Bergmasia suviolens. And it is a flowering plant. It is a flowering plant in the nightshade family. And it is native to southern Brazil. It has a tender, very very tender tree. You can see like this. Look, the tree or the syrup is very very tender. This is the bud. And, but due to human activities, it is extinct in the wild. It is now only found in the locality which is cultivated by the people 
the part used of this plant is the stems the flowers and the buds it it has very very amazing kind of treatments which includes hydrophobia which is given by uh, rabid dog or any kind of rabid animals tooth aches and even STDs so let's move on to the next plant and the sixth plant is Indian crocus it has the scientific name as Kempferia rodunda, rotunda and it is a seasonal flowering plant in the species of ginger family. It is native to China, India, Bangladesh, Nepal, Taiwan and many more. In some places it is widely cultivated for its rhizome. It has bitter scent and indigo colored flowers. This plant is grown in small herbal nurseries for application in medicinal uses, both in Ayurvedic and allopathic systems. And the Nepalese people call it Bhumi Champa. Not only the Nepalese people, but the people from India call it Bhumi Champa, which is derived from the Sanskrit name, which is derived from the Sanskrit word, and its meaning is growing above the ground or bloom within the earth and it has very high antioxidant property as it contains a toxin which is used to make ornament to treat dermatological condition and that toxin is benzyl benzoate benzyl benzoate and it parts use of this plant are flower and the rhizome so let me extract one of the rhizome and show you how the rhizome look like this as you can see it has potato like rhizomes but it is very close to ginger and turmeric family and its treatments or uses include the treatments of scabies fractures sprains and inflammation in the skin it has got indigo flower and later in this plant now you can see only the indigo colored flowers have been growing but laterly the leaves emerge so our last plant is none other than mistletoe yes it has dried up I could not show you the plant because they are present in very high trees. Only expect expert person can climb up. So I am not a climber like monkeys or any primates or any arboreal animals. Uh, so I have brought this dried up sample. And its scientific name is Viscum album. And you must have learned in your biology book also about mistletoe plant. It is a parasitic plant growing in other trees and it falls under the species of mistletoe family and sorry it falls under the species of mistletoe and in the family Santa Centalaceae and it is native to Europe it is commonly found in the crowns of broad trees suppose this is our branch of the tree any any tree with this kind of branch it get attached to the plant like this it starts growing and leave until it grows into a adult plant and die someday and it drains all the nutrients and water from this plant so the part use of this plant are the whole plant which I'm showing in the video and its treatment includes fatigue in the body, weakness in the body, spondylysis, arthritis and, and, and gouts, different kinds of muscle spams or backbone ache, anything in regard, including the pains on your body, every kind of pains on your body are treated by this plant. So thank you for watching my videos and if you use Instagram, 
please do follow me and try and yes the day is very good and i don't know what's the house the day there but thank you for watching my videos please share the videos like the videos and sub if you haven't subscribed to my channel 